Hey, how's it going everyone? Jurassic Ninja, and today we are going to try to fix three PS3 Slims. So I got these two here, and I picked these up on Marketplace. This guy said that they turn on, they just don't read any discs, and I have yet to test any of these PS3s, by the way. This will be the first time I ever turn them on. So the two with the stickers claim that they don't read discs, and I paid... $20 total, so $10 a piece on those. This one, I paid $25 at my local pawn shop, and he claimed that it won't read discs also, and that it powers on. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm more willing to believe the pawn store guy that this actually turns on versus some shady dude for $20 for two PS3s, but regardless, even if they don't turn on, I thought $10 a piece was still a good deal. And so let's plug them all in and see what they do. This one is a pretty banged up one, so I don't even know if it works, but we're gonna use it if these even turn on. All right, here we go. Power. Wait, it's turning on. That's good news so far. Having to deal with the one that doesn't turn on would suck, but it's very quiet, which is good. That's very good, actually. I'm gonna do a system update on this. Um, I've never really heard of an update not letting a disk drive work. I didn't even test a disk drive yet, but I'm still just gonna update it real fast. Well, I can't use any of the games, so I'll, I'll format this drive, but now let's test the disk drive. Let's see what happens. We're gonna use Assassin's Creed 3. All right, so this disk is basically perfect. You know what, though? A lot of people don't like this game. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Here we go, Assassin's Creed 3 time. All right, let's see what happens. It's getting louder. Oh, I read it. Look at that. Look at that! I might have to try multiple games on this. I got all these stickers off here. Gonna get some rubbing alcohol and clean off all this nasty residue. I just tested out three games on this PS3. All of them work perfect. I have these three, but three PS3 controllers. All of them work perfect. Let's move on to the next one. This one just turned on automatically. I didn't even press the button. I don't like that at all. But, and it's booting up 480p, which is fine. Um, there's no games installed. Um, let's try a game. Red Faction Guerrilla seemed to install quicker than the other ones. Like every game you have to install on the hard drive. Okay, this is weird. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why these guys claim that these don't read disc. Um, it did take a little long to read it, to, for, but it popped up. Um, you know what? It is dirty in there, I can tell, because it just, ugh, that sounds nasty. Like, it came out really slow. It was like, there's like gunk in there or something, but I guess we're gonna open this one up and give it a cleaning because it it just sounded real gunky. So we we get to, we get to open one up for the video. All right, let's turn it off. Okay, I have never opened up the slim before, but um, I figured it can't be too difficult. So it's gonna use some of these uh, bolts with the, uh, the like the the hex screws with the holes in the middle. And this toolkit does indeed have those.
my. Look at this. Look at that. That's gross. Look at this. Oh, it's so gross. Look at all this gunk in there. Right? And then the disk drive, if you can see it, it's full of this stuff. And it works, but it just, it's so gross. The fan actually doesn't even look that bad, but this there's just this gunk like around, and it's like everything in here looks brown. Like it's been in a smoker's house, like even these wires are brown, but it doesn't smell like smoke. I don't, it doesn't smell like anything. It's like tar that doesn't smell like smoke. Maybe vaping or something, I don't know. It's like brown. Let's see if I can clean that off. No, that's pretty gross, man. But like, even if you look, like I cleaned this drive, but you must, it wasn't zoomed in all the way. It's hard to see, but like this brown crap, just, it's gross. I mean, like, do you need this right here? Do you have to have this? Cause this one's totally gross. So I'm going to take it off. Look at this. Let me zoom in here. It's just caked in this nasty. Like, watch it come off right now. I'm gonna get some al alcohol. I'm just gonna scrub off like this tar substance. Like I said, it doesn't smell like smoke at all. But it sure does look like it was smoke. Ugh, look at it just come off. Look at that. Ugh, that's so gross. Oh my god. I gotta I gotta open this up, man. This thing is just gross. Like look at look at that. Ugh. I mean look at that. Just tar everywhere. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it needs a cleaning. Okay, here you go. Look at this. You can see the difference here. Like, it's white, not white, right? It's so gross. I mean, like, look how white this cable is now. It was totally yellow before. It's actually really clean. Look at this, it's pretty dirty here and here, a lot of na and a lot of that nasty cake crap. So I'm glad I did this. And then, oh yeah, this has got all kinds of gunk on it. My camera's not the greatest, you probably won't see it, but it, that bar, it's got all kinds of nasties. So let's give this the cleaning now. want to get that gunk off. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's put it back together. Bring back the big nasty. You can just see all this gunk over here. Watch this. Look at all that. Uh, where is it at here? I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up, but there's nasty in there. 
It's so gross. Like here, I'll pick up this big chunk. Like, look at that. Oh man! Oh, oh! Look at this! Ew! Okay, look, look at this. So right around here, it's really nasty, and especially here. God, I hope this is in camera, but it probably isn't, but this is supposed to be silver, right? So it's just really gunky all around here. Oh, especially this hard drive bay, right? Oh, gosh, I just don't think it's getting on camera at all. But it's just so gross, guys, trust me. Trust me, I'm gonna clean that up. The board looks great, actually. Gonna use some MX4 thermal compound on this bad boy. Anytime I take a console apart and then test it, it never works. Console that probably won't work anymore. Okay, I am going to turn it on. Green light. The disk drive sounds weird. It's definitely going haywire. I put it together wrong, I think. I've concluded that I did not, I never plugged that one in back to this and uh, it actually looks like it's gonna be a real big pain in the ass to do so but luckily I got I can make it some slack here actually by taking this apart here there we go now I now I really felt it go in okay Where's my HDMI cable? Yeah, where's my HDMI cable? There we go. Woo! Listen to that purr! Listen to that purr! All right, let's put a game in. Let's put a game in. Here we go. That went in so much easier than last time. Last time it was all. I'm gonna eat your soul. Okay, it's spinning. Boom, baby, goes the dynamite. I am gonna launch it, gonna install it to the drive, and play it for a second, make sure everything is legit, like the disk drive can legit read it still and everything like that, that it's not just reading a, the game loading, because uh, that has happened to me with the Wii, where it shows it, but it doesn't work past the loading screen, like the press start screen. Uh, so I'll, con I'll come back to gameplay. All right, guys, so this one is fixed. I will make sure that the Wi-Fi works, but I'm gonna just do that off camera. I assume it works because it is plugged in. Bluetooth is here, so I got them plugged in right. Let's move on to number, I can't count, uh, three. Let's move on to number three. 
Here's number three. This is from the pawn store, as you can see right there. Let's plug it in. Now I will say that I can definitely see some grime and dirt right there. So it looks like this one might hopefully just have to take the disk drive out and clean that out. I don't want to have to go do a whole cleaning again. That sucked. Okay, let's see if the game works. Here we go. What? Okay, look at this, guys. I mean, I'm not... I'm not lying to you. Watch. Look at this. It even says right here, let's see. Won't read discs. See right there. Won't read discs. I don't understand. I'm three for three on three consoles that claim not to read discs, but all of them read discs. Now this is why I like to buy broken consoles, because a lot of the times people are just dumb. They'll try like a game with like a, like a scratched disc and put it in and be like, oh, doesn't work. The console's broken. It has been opened up. So, but it works. So I'm pretty confused by that, actually. By like a lot, really. That it's been opened up and it still works. Maybe they fixed it and didn't realize it? I don't know. But... You know what? Actually, this has not been peeled off. It's been looks like it's been peeled off to a certain point because this isn't coming off. Um, I don't think that this has been opened up. <laughs> this is by far dustier than my last one. Holy cow! I'm glad I opened it up. Jesus Christ! It went all in my face. Oh, look at that sucker. Poof. <laughs> oh, fudge. Poof. I mean, look at this. And then, like, oh, just look at that. It's bad. Poof. Whoo. That's gross. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look how gross that is. Ugh, gross. I really just want to open up this disk drive because they claim that the, it didn't read disks. So at some point, it didn't read disks for them. Holy cow, this thing's got three plugs? My other disk drive only had the one? Oh no, well yeah, it only had the one. That's odd. Oh yeah, this is way different. It's way different. Dirty too. Clean all that dust off. Oh my god. Holy cow. Look at this. Especially right in there. Dear Lord. How does it get so dirty? So I'm not going to take this part off because I do not have any more thermal paste right now. So, um, I'm just going to sell it like this. I'm going to, you know, I'll be honest. I'll say opened up, cleaned out all the dust, uh, cleaned out the CD tray, 
didn't put new thermal paste on, you know, something like that. I wonder why they went and went and made it different like this. So weird. All right, so I didn't realize the battery died on my camera, so you didn't get to see a lot of stuff. But I opened this up, I cleaned it out. It took me about 30 minutes to hook this back up because on the bottom, very bottom, there's a small cable, and uh, I don't even know if it hooked up right or not. So we're all gonna find out. So I'm plugging it back in because it's all this stupid fucking dust is cleaned out. There's a lot of dust in this thing, man. Sounds good. The disk drive sounds good. I think, oh shoot, I think I left the game in there still. I think Resident Evil 5 might be in there. If it is, it'll launch automatically. Let's see. Nope, I took it out, okay. Where's my controller? So I found, found this controller that I bought for $3. I'm gonna test it out, see if it works. Whoa, it did some stuff that I didn't do. Holy cow, I don't think this controller works. That controller's gonna need some work, that's for sure. It works! Yes! I'm telling you, that ribbon cable on the very bottom of this thing was a bitch to put in. I mean, like, there's like this much space. I'm like, ugh, it was really hard. It took forever, but I got it. Okay, I wanna put this back together. That bugs me. That bugs me. That bugs me. Some spray paint for for uh, barbecues and stuff, and uh, I don't know if this is gonna work good or not. So here we go. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do it properly or anything. Okay, uh, that'll work just fine. Gloss. So much better. Got rid of that stupid little circle in the middle. Super glassy now. I like it. PS3. Actually, this turned out really good. Like, really good. Awesome. Well, guys, these three work perfect now, and two of them are really dirty. One I never even opened up. I probably should. Um, I'm probably going to, but you don't need to see me opening up and cleaning out a bunch of dust, honestly. Uh, sorry that this wasn't more exciting. At least you got to see a lot of nasty gunk and stuff. But these three were claimed to be not working by uh, not reading discs, and clearly they all do. So that's good news for me, as I'm going to sell all three of these. Uh, two I bought for 20 total, one I bought for 25. I'm going to make some good money. I got a lot of games to bundle with them, some controllers. Got my HDMI cables to go. So yeah, this is this was uh this is gonna be good for me. So thanks for watching guys and ladies if you're watching too. Sorry, I just have a habit of saying guys. And my next video, I will probably tackle down some super well, 
not my next video, my next repair video, I'll probably tackle down some Super Nintendos. Thanks again and take it easy.